Hi guys, this is SE Gamer back with a new video. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the SEA server unit guide. This was made by the same person who made the previous guide to the KR meta. Um, all rights goes to was this guy, um, and Taylor. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering his name, but shout out to him. He will find a good way to showcase every single character and put them in a really, really nice and easy way to read them. So shout out to him. Very well put together. So what we're going to be doing today, taking a look at why certain characters are good, taking a look at the PVE score, the PVP score and the raid score. So hopefully this should be very helpful as well as going over the set that it should be good for them as well as skill upgrades and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys like this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, stay tuned for more content on counter side. Let's get to 5k subscribers, at 5k subscribers I will be doing a giveaway. In today's video as well, I will also be doing the giveaway for the 3k subscribers. If you guys are not aware, I did do a giveaway previously for the 3k subscribers, however the winners did not reply. So in today's video we're going to do that. So all you have to do, go over to the comment section at the bottom of this video and comment hashtag 3k subscribers and write whatever text you guys want to say, whether it's something to do with this video or something that is not to do with the video just send whatever you guys want to send so that you guys can be entered into the giveaway so all you have to do is write hashtag 3k subscribers and please guys actually do that because um it makes sure that when i try and pull for winner i could easily filter out all the comments in the video and pick the people who actually use that so hopefully you guys understand the condition of this giveaway when both of you guys win there is going to be two winners i will comment down on your comments as well so definitely go ahead and take a look at the comment that you guys posted as well on this video and then i will reply telling you guys you're the winner and how should i contact you guys whether it's by discord or facebook so i will announce the giveaway winner and hopefully everything should be sorted out by then um if you guys don't know what the rewards are you guys get to pick whether it's an amazon card of 10 pounds or a google play card of 10 pounds it's up to you guys anyways let's get right to this video this guide is based on the current performance and skill sets of the characters that I have observed whilst playing slash checking other players on SEA and the Taiwanese server. They're not as far ahead as KR. This rating does not take into account how future proof the characters are, but I will still mark those worth investing in the long run. A few things to note, I'm comparing the characters as if they are level 100 with the skills evolved to level 5. Okay, that's very important actually, because um, in some cases level 5 drastically changes the skills which is very true because i do remember a character an ssr character being able to crit every time with a normal chain which is very very good um, i'm comparing the characters within their class only only and characters that are somewhat useful were added to this list the rest is food fodder okay that's fine so this is the ranking of how things are going to be so ss best of what they are s exceptional a strong b good c usable and d mess so any characters in the d section do not use uh, glossary for the special character cc meaning stun knockback or silence off tanks meaning they can stay in the front line and survive d buffers make the enemies weaker buffers make your teammates stronger and battery who just um, increases resource uh, recovery so amazing number one basic attack is number two second skill number three third skill and number four is fourth skill so hopefully that should be easy overall four pieces are nearly always stronger than two times two pieces but of course they are harder to get and you need to unlock the fourth slot to make them anyways before you get the four piece set you need just use two times two pieces that is true um, you have to get your characters to I believe six stars before you can actually unlock the last uh, slot for the equipment so yeah currently right now many people are probably going to be using a two piece set which is currently what I'm using and the attack speed will be for four pieces the crit damage for four pieces and the cooldown reduction which I believe is the main important gear in this game like something you guys need to aim for in the end game four pieces as well so taking a look at the defend categories now Fiona or Fioni is that how I say your name um, she is actually very very good. I enjoy using her currently. So she's ranked 8 in PvE. I definitely do agree. She's actually very very good. She's definitely one of those R characters I would tell you guys to use. For PvP, she's rated B and for raid A. So for specialty, she does CC and debuffer because she basically knocks back the enemy. For the set you want to use is HP and defense. So two sets of HP and two sets for the defense set. And for the skill upgrade, focus on the third skill, then the second skill, then the fourth skill, and then the first skill. 
understandable um i did i even do that i don't think my fiona has the skills um leveled up because i run out of skill uh book stuff it's very mad because you do require the skill books to use as stamina resources for certain stuff as well so currently i have like 200 which is barely anything so that's kind of upsetting next time we take a look at erose she is a counter unit which most units in this game are for pve she's b for pvp she's c and for rage she's c um she's okay um i mean if you're using is she a tank no she's not there's nothing to tell us what she does so if she doesn't have any specialties i don't really recommend you guys using them so i'm just going to skip over that character next up we have the hound which is basically a tank he's actually very good as well or he or she the tank or it yes is very very good uh pve a um i do agree i, I don't upgrade him i haven't really upgraded him now or it's now but i will do that in the future next up for pvp b and for raid it's uh, c and what he does is cc and we want to focus on having hp gear and defense gear focused on his third chain third skill and the second skill and then the first skill is it future proof yes um mostly actually i want to talk about future proof characters so i'm probably going to skip over the other characters because i don't want to make this video too long i read alfred okay so what her ranking is is s for pve wow so she's better than fiona but i like fiona at this moment so i don't really care uh she's a for pvp whilst fiona is b okay and she's also a for raid currently my um iv right now actually is max stars so i should actually probably work on her even more but i still have my fiona leveled up further than Irie, so i might do that in the future but anyways so her specialty is cc so um taunting the enemies and the buffer character the gear you want to focus on her is hp and defense uh skill upgrade focus on the second the fourth and the third and the fourth so i'm going to skip over the other characters that are not future proof i'm sorry guys um, unless this video will be long next up we got ryan fryery which is an amazing character unfortunately i don't have him i don't have him at all it's very very annoying um even though it's an sr character i don't have him uh for pve ss i definitely do believe in that uh for pvps s very very good in pvp and for raiders s just an sr character i would say is the best the best sr character in my opinion so ccd buffer the gear you want to build on him is hp and defense and uh yeah Actually, I want to take a look at this SR character, Stronghold. I currently use him. Um, I'm not saying he's the best. I just currently um, leveled him up to the 64. B tier for PvE, C tier for PvP, and D tier for Raid. So you don't want to use this guy for Raid. He's a buffer character, and the game you want to build on him is HP and Defense. Focus on his fourth skill, his first skill, the second skill, and then the first skill. Oh, that's pretty easy to remember. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the striker characters. Like I said, I'm only going to talk about characters that are future proofed or like SSR characters that many people are wondering about. So let's see. So, Sydney Looper, I don't actually level this character up. I want to do that, but for now, I'm currently leveling up too many characters. So, I want to make sure everything is equal. So, she's an air rarity um, for PvE. She is A tier for PvP. She's B. And uh, for Raid, she's A. She's actually very, very good. She's definitely future proof for now a specialty she's a cc and an off tank so she's able to deal quite a bit of damage as well she performs like a little bit of a tank obviously tanks are going to be better than her but she actually performs that side role or sub role very very good for the breast set for her would be hp for skill upgrade it will be three two four and one next up we're going to be taking a look at Estorosa, which right now is currently the most annoying character in pvp well alongside um guan yun and i believe um elizabeth but Estorosa is annoying immediately you have her you literally just have to level up your Estorosa to level 70 get her all the way to like six stars level up her uh skills and then yeah your rest of the characters could be level 50 and she'll still wreck everyone who is like level 70 so yeah she's pretty annoying pvp she isn't future proof because there's going to be more characters that just remove the shield that she adds and uh, she is a five cost unit which literally isn't good but for pve she's a uh, s tier for pvp ss and for raid a so you're wondering why she's like not future proof well because she's a five cost unit and many better units will be added who are less cost than her so there's no reason to use her right now i mean there is a reason to use her right, right now on pvp but i believe the pvp is ending for this week so i believe they're going to put this character in the banned list because uh, they always do that for pvp but i don't know so i'm currently building her uh, she's only at level 50 but i'll see if they manage to ban her in pvp then i guess I won't use her, but um, let's see. So specialty debuffer and an off tank 
very very good for that protecting your units as well the gear you want to build on though is hp and uh, the skills upgrade is two three four one next up we're going to be taking a look at um heal day she's ranked b in pve a in pvp and for raid she is s now currently i don't have this character leveled up actually that's a lie i, I do have her at level 54 now she's very very good however i believe her cost is like four which is pretty high um she is a buffer character and i believe her best set is attack attack and the cooldown reduction like i said cooldown reduction is just op uh for her skill upgrade is two three four and one future proof definitely um i don't actually know who ingrid is i haven't used this character so for pve is e is c for pvp is s so maybe a pvp character for raid esc actually if you're just going to build this character i wouldn't recommend it only for pvp really yeah on the later like early on i wouldn't say she should build this character now maybe in the future when you want to focus on pvp content then i guess you can build them up um i'm gonna skip over him because right now i don't think you guys should build him up next up we got jake walker so b a and c uh corresponding to b uh, pve pvp and raid um no specialty as of yet so the best set for him will be attack attack or cooldown reduction is skill upgrade two three four and one uh next one is going to be jane doe this character will be coming out in the future and i believe you can farm her i wouldn't recommend farming her um when she does come out i mean you obviously farm as many sr characters as you ssr characters as you want but she isn't that good uh, as you can see she's ccd um there's literally better SR character, ssr characters and even sr characters than her so we're going to skip over her next character we're going to be taking a look at is ling Sheng. this video is going to be too long um Ling Sheng is rated SS and SS which is very very good like this character is a character the SR character definitely tell you to build you can farm her so if you want to get more dupes now I wouldn't recommend you guys using any dupes for your SR or SSR character because when you want to get them all the way to above level 100 you're going to require I believe 16 dupes so that's a lot so don't use her SR shard I mean you can farm her so I guess you can um, use her SR shard or SR uh, copy if you want to because she's easily farmable but at the same time I wouldn't recommend it she's, so she's very very good for CC and battery um, attack gear and HP gear and cooldown reduction will be for her uh, focus on the second fourth and third one skill next on we're going to take a look at Nahara Shifuyu now currently I don't have this character and I haven't even seen this character except in PvP um, she is very very good looking at the rating so ss for pve s for pvp s for raid wow i definitely want to grab this character uh so she is a cc character uh gear you want to build for her is attack hp and cooldown reduction next up we're going to be taking a look at orca now she's rated bbc um okay that's kind of <laughs> sorry very immature i'm very sorry guys anyway so ssr character orca currently those are the people are trying to farm her right now I am not doing that because like right now in the beginning of the game I don't want to get just an extra SSR character I want to get gear I want to get resources I'm going to need not just a brand new SSR character that's just going to be like average I mean right now in global she's very very not global in SCA she's very very good even though she's rated BBC um but I don't think I need her I mean I can take my time to get her but for now I just don't care about her at this moment so she's a debuff on an off tank the gear you want to build for her is attack attack or cooldown reduction um, next up there's Roy Bennett, um, A, C and S, so very very good for raid, um, off tank, uh, taking a look at Terminator, I didn't even know Terminator was better than the um, Stronghold, but okay, S for PvE, C for PvP and S for raid, okay I definitely want to grab him, um, I don't have any copy of him so I'm kind of upset, so he is a debuffer, the gear you want to build on him is attack attack or attack speed, he is a mech character, oh no he's a soldier, okay that's surprising, next up we got titan i might want to grab this guy in a ticket i mean i have enough of the other characters but if i don't get titan now i might regret it in the future so from the ticket i might have to go ahead and grab him even though i'm not going to use him at this moment so for him he is a for pve b for pvp and c for raid uh, that's the gear you would need to use for him next up taking a look at range of characters i really do want to speed this thing up um let's see so assault trooper okay um, it doesn't have any specialty, so I'm not going to build him this moment. There's also Kathy, which is an end character that you can build. Very good for raid. 
Elizabeth Pendragon, obviously, I already know she's good. Like S and SS for PvP and S for raid. I am currently building her. I believe she's like level 70 something. She's very, very good. Specialty CC, best set, attack, attack, and cooldown reduction. Like I said, always the best. With a skill upgrade, you really want to focus on the second, the fourth, the third, and the first. That's the same for Gwen Yoon. Now, I did make a video a long time ago talking about why I believe Elizabeth might be better than Gwen Yoon. But now I don't know because even though they put um, Elizabeth as SS in PvP, Guan Yun is very very good, especially with her stun. So I'm not sure. I think Elizabeth and Guan Yun are two amazing characters, and I really want to get both of them and use them. But right now I only have Elizabeth, and if I want to get Guan Yun, I have to summon on a banner, and I don't want to. So I'm kind of upset I don't have her at this moment, and I can't really get her from tickets. So. If I could get her in the future, I would definitely go ahead and grab her. But yeah, that is Gwen Yoon as well. Very, very good rating. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at John Mason, BBC, and ever SSR character. To be honest, I'm not going to focus on him. BBC is too low for an SSR character. I mean, it's okay, but at the same time, I could use other characters. But if you're building multiple teams, I guess this guy could be good in your fourth or fifth team. Next up, King Sobin, which is very, very good character. She deals a huge amount of damage. Uh, she's S for PvE, C for PvP, so kind of surprising. I mean, I don't use her in PvP, but okay. So S, S for Raid, I do understand, because she was going to be dealing a ton of damage. So I'm currently building her up right now. She's level 60. Um, I want to get more, I want to level her up more. Um, you can actually use her to build one of those specialty stages in the game, where you have to deal a huge amount of damage. She's very, very good for that. The gear you want to build on her is attack, crit, and attack speed. Um, focus on two, three, four, and one for her skills. Very future-proof character. Next, we take a look at Kyle Wong. So he's SS for PVE, S for PVP, and S for raid. I thought it was going to be like SSS for both of them. Like, yeah, maybe I missed something with this character because he's very, very good. But he's a CC character. The game one build on him is attack, attack, and cooldown reduction. Next up, we're going to take a look at Seo Yoon. She is S for PvE, C for PvP, and S for Raid. She is a buffer slash debuffer. Oh, so she's not good in PvP. Um, luckily, I don't use her, I don't think. I mean, I don't have her leveled up that much, so I guess that's why I didn't use her. Um, yeah, you want to build on her attack, attack, and cooldown reduction. Next up, we're taking a look at Shin ji who I believe is a very, very good character. In PvE, she's rated S. In PvP, B. And in Raid, S. Uh, a duplicates are very very annoying so she's great for cc and buff characters uh gear attack attack or cooldown reduction next up we're going to be taking a look at no one else okay we're going to go over to the sniper category where there's significantly less characters i believe yet yeah, there is so um yeah we're close to the end of this video but don't forget guys the giveaway video is this video so all you need to do is to make your comment and then put hashtag 3k subscribers and you guys will be entered into the giveaway Anyways, let's see. It's Hayami Sony. Um, I currently did manage to get this character from a ticket, which I was very happy about. Um, so she's rated S in PvE, S in PvP, and A for raid. Currently, she's at level 54 for me. I haven't really had the time to build her up. I will put her in my third team for now. So she's amazing for CC and buff and debuff. Um, best set attack, attack, and cooldown reduction. Definitely future proofed. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at Sevilla Leonard Copper. Um, so she's S for PvE, S for PvP, and A for Raid. An amazing SR sniper character for PvE, in my opinion, on PvP. Currently, I don't use her in PvP. I don't think I need to add two sniper characters in my PvP team. But anyways, for specialty, she's a CC and a buffer character. Her best set is attack and crit or cooldown reduction. Skill upgrade order is 2, 3, 4, 1. From what I've noticed in this game, the order you want to focus is 2, 3, 4, 1 for most of the characters. There's obviously some exceptions, but still, most range characters or most like good, good character, the skill order is 2, 3, 4, 1. So I definitely need to remember that for every one of those characters. Take a look at it to see if it fits my specific character. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at Shaolin, which is the only character so far who has SS for PvE, SS for PvP, and SS for Raid. So I'm very impressed with this character. Uh, she is one of my, actually I haven't leveled her up further than 75, I want to get her all the way to 80 because I do like this character, she's very good for the CC, you want to put her in the back line so that she can just snipe the characters and um, very very good, so attack set for her or crit damage because she is a character who has um, guaranteed crit on a normal chain or normal skill. So you want to definitely build crit damage with this character. So focus on the 2, 3, 1 and 4 
for her next up we're going to be taking a look at the support class characters and uh, wow there's a lot of recommended characters in this because most of them are future proof so let's take a look so we got arius as square day i haven't actually leveled up this character i will do that in the future she's a character who spawns in a little tank i believe or a little truck that shoots so she's actually very very good for pve content for pvp she's b and for raid she's a i will build her in the future but for now so she's great for cc and the gear you want to build on her is hp and cooldown reduction um skill upgrade like i said 2341 future proof character next up we got cindy nelson she's a great healer um pve a pvp b and raid a uh next up we got evelyn kelly she's amazing for healing she's s in pve s in pvp and s in raid so all around an amazing character uh, I will get her above level 100 when the awakening starts. So she is a buffer character. Um, gear you want to build on her is HP HP. Next up we got Ironside um, BBC. Um, okay, so he's a buffer character HP HP cooldown reduction. And the last two characters actually they're siege characters as well and tower. Come on. So the last two characters we got Nahara Natsuya. So this character I actually did leave out. Um, currently have her like level 70 but i haven't really focused on her i will do that in the future but for now i just don't have time to level up her um further than 70 but she is great for pve content as you can see s pvp she's also s and a for raid her best set is hp hp or cooldown reduction as well as with a skill upgrade order 2341 future proof character next up we also got yang Arim, who is the second character in this game who has a ranking of ss in pve ss in pvp and ss in raid so amazing buffer character uh you want to get her skills to um, level five in my opinion like very very quickly so a skill upgrade two three four one like i said with most characters um, next up we've got siege character we got lumi the ss character ssr character so for pve she's a and for pvp she's b and for raid she's c she doesn't look like a future proof character but you can go ahead and build her if you do have her she's not that bad abc so yeah very very good the rest of the characters i'm gonna ignore and next we got the tower characters which is try in 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 aina yeah try aina pve s pvp a raid b uh, specialty battery and buffer best set hp hp and attack speed skill upgrade order two one and three next up we got gabriel june the victorious but your name is too long so rating d for pve a for pvp and d for raid well if you want to build this guy for pve pvp content sorry then go ahead but for now i wouldn't recommend doing it now um focus on pve content for now you want to farm and then get all your characters leveled up and then you can focus on pvp very extensively that is everything for this unit um, guide this is what you want to focus this account is you need to focus on what they are good in what skill order you should focus on what best set they should use so hopefully you guys like this video stay tuned for more content on counter side don't forget the giveaway is on right now so comment down in the video uh we'll say whatever you want to say about this video and then write hashtag 3k subscribers for you guys to be entered it's been your boy AC Gamer, stay hyped and I'm out.